when I was in university, I did two separate internships at Microsoft. The first one was a data science internship in San Francisco, and the second one was a program manager internship in Redmond, which is near Seattle. In this video, I'm going to focus on how I got my first internship there as a data scientist. Just in case you're not familiar with it, data science is sort of a combination between computer science and statistics or data analysis. But before I go into how I got the job, I believe that there is a formula for getting a great job. It's in the form of something plus something else. The first one of these is skills. The first thing I did for building my skill set for this particular data science position was I took a few programming courses. They were on basic programming and data structures and algorithms. Using what I learned in those courses, I eventually landed my first technical internship. That one was as a software developer intern at a tiny startup in Tokyo. When I was working there, I also started working on some competitive math problems just for fun. After that, I took a few statistics courses because it was my major. I also started learning machine learning on my own by taking an online course from California Institute of Technology, which is also known as Caltech. Using what I learned from those courses, I started working on a few machine learning projects using a website called Kaggle. So how did all of these come together? When I applied for the data science position at Microsoft, I believe what made me stand out was the combination of my statistics background, my programming experience, as well as the machine learning project I put on my resume. It was probably rare for any other candidate to have a combination of all of those things at the same time on their resume. And as for the interviews for this data science position in San Francisco, there were two types of questions. One of them was solving math problems. Some of these math problems were focused on probabilities while others were focused on other areas of math, for example, combinatorics. I was actually well prepared for this type of questions because of my experience with competitive math problems, which I mentioned earlier. The other type of questions was statistics and data analysis related questions. For these questions, I found that taking a few statistics courses at my university and working on a few machine learning related personal projects was really helpful. So the reason I worked on those particular skills was not just because I wanted to get a job in data science. It was mostly because I genuinely enjoyed working on each of those projects. I sort of knew that statistics would be useful for getting a job at some point somehow. And I also knew that fundamental math skills are good to have because they're universally applicable, but I didn't expect them to be useful in this specific way. All right, let's go back to the formula I mentioned earlier for getting a great job. As I said earlier, the formula is getting a great job is equal to skills plus something else. In my opinion, this something else is connections. So right before I applied to the data science position, I was actually trying to start a data science club at my university. So I was talking to a statistics professor about it. And one day she told me about an event in which a speaker from Microsoft would talk about how data science and statistics were being used there. So I went to the event and afterwards I asked the speaker there if Microsoft was hiring any data science interns. He said yes, so I sent him my resume later and that's how I got an interview with them. Just like how I built my skills, the reason I wanted to start a data science club wasn't just because I wanted to put it on my resume or because I wanted to build connections so I could get a job one day. It was just because it was something I wanted to do because I found it meaningful. So what's a key takeaway here? First of all, I believe that a combination of formal education, practical experience, and personal projects can be really powerful. In my particular case, taking a few statistics courses at my university, having done one programming internship, and working on math and machine learning personal projects all contributed to eventually getting my first internship at Microsoft. And the second takeaway from my personal experience here is that I think you should build your skills and connections in a way you enjoy the process a lot. If you enjoy the process, you will want to spend more time on those things so it should become easier for you to build those skills and connections. All right, that's all I have for this video. Good luck guys on getting your next job or internship. And if you want more videos like this, like this video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video.